Okay, what's up, guys? We're like, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I just punched a glass with my mouth. <laughs> um, hey, what's up, guys? Um, today, uh, I completely lost my train of thought there, my bad. Uh, today, we're gonna be playing uh, Shutterwalk Shaman. Um, for those who don't know, this is one of my favorite decks. Um, a lot of people I know that played this game, that play this game still, really, really enjoyed this deck. I know that there's there are some people online that say, oh, this deck is... They hate on this deck just as much as they hate on Big Priest and other things like that. Other decks that I very much do enjoy. But, you know, I don't know. I'm trying on a new version of the deck that I, I was tinkering with uh, this morning. Uh, still running double... Uh, actually, do I think I still run these? I think we can, these can actually be cut. Um... What the fuck do I... What, what would I run instead? I, I like, actually went... More like the OG win con with like the life drinkers. I put an anti kill bot just for a little bit more healing. Uh, obviously, you're running Talon to draw your expensive stuff. So, like Shutterwalk, and if, you, if Shutterwalk has got, dr been drawn, you have Snowfall Guardian and Grumble, which are both insane cards. I'm a little wor bit worried playing it with Steelbreaker. Um, or Sleet Breaker. My bad. I, don't, I read that as Steel. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, because, right. This adds cards to your hand, this adds cards to your hand. It's a little awkward, you can theoretically miss on adding Shutterwalk back to your hand, then you could just lose the game. I mean, obviously not with Brilliant. And also, then you just have too many of these, so... I'm very worried about this card. It might be wrong to include it. Actually, actually do I just cut this? You know what, fuck it. Last bit of modifications. We're gonna cut that, we're gonna add Quest. And then we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. These are a little bit more awkward to run. Hmm. Okay, what, what are some good battle cry? Actually, I know exactly what the good battle cries are for this release, uh, this position. It's just adding the one drops. Oh no, crawlers! What am I saying? <laughs> crawlers are gonna be in every single one of my decks, um, just to help deal with the. What the? F I forgot what his name is. Garaka crawler or something like that. Uh, there he is. I'm gonna run double crawler. Mm, I think this can also be cut, and then that would be cut. Or uh, let's go low thud. If we're going combo, I'm gonna run that, and I'm also gonna cut one of these for the battle cry. Okay. Uh, do we run a plate breaker just to attempt to deal with druids? Uh, no. What's his name? He's a five drop. That's all I, I don't remember what he was called. Fuck. Um. There he is. Alright, let's try it like this. This is this is combo oriented now. Seems gonna be fun. The double crawler should help a lot. Uh, there's still a fair amount of battle cries, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, non including Shutterwalk, which would make it 20. Um, actually, there's one other card we need to add. You're gonna get lost for uh, tour guide. That's why you can guarantee go off. You don't have to RNG it. I mean, you can still guarantee go off with Brilliant Macabre, but fuck it. I'm going to try it like this. Uh, for all those who don't know, I absolutely love this deck. So let's go. Let's go. This is the longest intro I think I've ever done for a video, just because I realized I made a couple oversights. I'm going to regret. I guarantee you, at least once in this video, I'm going to see this card. I'm like, fuck, I wish that was uh, Dirty Rat. But for now, let's try it like that. And then when that happens, one of these are getting cut for Dirty Rat. That is in the future. I'm almost at this point. I might just go Reno. Next next iteration of this deck might just be a Reno. You guys know how much I love playing Reno Shaman. Anyways though, that being said, let's just hop right into the first game. Alright guys, grab a drink and I'll see y'all there. Alright, so we queued into a matchup that's unwinnable uh, to start off. So that's... That's always there. Oh, he think Reno's very nice. Yeah, see, like, this is a card you can cut if we go Reno. We can play more of the one-drops that are good, right? The Armor sm uh, armor Vendor, almost called her Armor Smith. And then, um, 
you know, just just other decent ones. The problem is you run out, you lose out on one Macaw, you lose out on one Snowfall Guardian, and one uh, Serenite, which makes it a little bit more awkward, but it's still definitely doable. Uh, you just need to find more ways to draw cards as well. Um, as it is, this deck, I think I'm going to be running out of cards in hand without the Sleep Breakers. Uh, so yeah, it's, 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 I don't know, it's going to be a little bit awkward. I also forgot to put in the 2-drop that draws a card for quest. Oh, I'm realizing changes to quest changes so much of it. Um, yeah. Hey, look. Who would have thought someone would still be playing the best deck in the game? Um, I think it's just coin this out. Hopefully hit uh, nature spell. There's one left in the deck, so... There's one left, three frost. That was not a good draw. It was not what I was hoping to see. That is okay. It's gonna be really bad when I draw toxin for turn, but... For now, I mean, I think this is just the play. I slam this. I kind of want to wait for this with Crawler, because that's like a hilarious combination. But hey. You didn't complete first part of quest, right? First part of quest does nothing. I'm gonna do this before I draw. Just freeze this for now. This chain gang is huge, actually. We have almost full combo in hand, uh, surprisingly, like on curve. That's actually really good. So I'm this next turn, that's... I have to wipe, never mind. Especially if he plays a pirate, it's just this. The attack with his weapon, so as long as he doesn't have a weapon, he won't realistically have a way to kill this, which is going to be really good for me. Um, except for slamming double pirate. Which, I mean, he's able to. <sighs> Rukan is nice. I have to slam this already, which is so toxic. Like, he's just going to play two more pirates, and then I'm just like, lose. This is going to be hit, hit, he's going to poke here, he's going to have a board. I'm not, and I just concede. Um, oh, never mind. He has the, the kill with that. Never mind. He's gonna play the other pirate and then some be hit hit. This thing. Watch. Hit hit. That's impossible. It stays alive. Actually, here it's arguably better. So this is gonna stay alive. Prediction this stays alive because it's better for him. He gets in, squeezes in uh, two more damage. Oh, high roll. Sometimes high roll. This is my only viable thing here. It's it's like hit hit, hit hit, and double pirate. Plays Rakar next turn, I lose the game. Oh, he plays Rakar this turn. I forgot he played an additional pirate because every pirate I think in the game has to go up by two mana. <laughs> Make this deck balanced. Except for Rakar. Rakar is six mana up. You have to hit an Emperor Thoris Antic on it to be playable. I can't outvalue this card. It's funny, my deck that is designed all around value cannot outvalue Juggernaut. A card that that deck gets to just play for free. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I'm just dead. This is the right play, even though it's shit. has to be this, just so my this has a decent battle cry to play. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm at 3. I mean, sure. I'm at 4. Oh, I'm just dead. Didn't matter, he had lethal four different ways. Pirate Warrior, everyone. Fair and balance. Let's go. Those of only dead didn't need an actual nerf. Best deck in the game prior to nerfs. Even better now that the only deck that uh, beats it is no longer playable in the form of Quest Hunter. And Mage. If this deck can stay in the format, give us Sorcerer's Apprentice back. <laughs> give us Sorcerer's Apprentice. Give us... Warlock Quest. Like... <laughs> Arguably, give us pre any nerf warlock quest. Let's make it. Let's make the format balanced again. Anyways, uh, let's queue up the next one. Ooh, another hunter. <laughs> I thought people would just like. I was just never gonna see this class ever again. Also, deck tracker's broken again. Great. Uh, deck 
tracker stop being broken. This is actually such a good combo on four. If he has three minions, that's so good. Um, but yeah, I, I was actually thinking about how aggro players in Hearthstone, especially Pirate Warrior players, at least of what I've seen online on Reddit and things like that, remind me exactly of Reinhardt players. Did I just say aggro players, especially those who play Reinhardt? No, uh, that deck mostly doesn't play um, pirates. Uh, no, sorry. Pirate warrior players remind me a lot of Reinhardt players, where they'll bitch whenever their deck that they like playing isn't just the best in the format. Uh, and then when it is the best in the format, right? So like right now, I freeze this, right? They'll talk all of this shit. They'll be like, oh my god, I love Pirate Warrior so much. Oh my god, better deck, better player wins. But then when it's not just the best deck, it's just like, oh, this game is unplayable. And then they bitch. And legitimately, nothing pisses me off more than people like that. Not a single thing. Hopefully no snipe. No snipe one time. How? How? How the fuck do they always have the snipe? For fuck's sake. They legitimately always... The one, like, I wanted to not be... Two secrets. Snipe, and then the freeze one. But it was... Snipe. Just this, into this. Alright, that's, that's, that's just the curve I have here. Right now, this is theoretically kills both of those. Unless he trades both, in which case it's not this, it's this hero power. But, I don't know. That's why I mean, I draw like Serenite Chain Gang or something. He can't play either cards he drew off this, so if his, the rest of his hand was trash, it's really good for me. It's not attacking to freeze the board, just so he can attack afterwards. Oh, uh, yeah. Play another one. I love seeing double crawler. I love seeing double crawler when I'm not cued into pirate. My favorite thing. By the way, my guess here is that this is freezing trap, so I don't really want to trigger it as long as this is on the battlefield. Yeah, double crawler when we don't hit pirate warrior. No crawlers when we hit pirate warrior. Love it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That's getting the destroy all the big things, right? This would have been so good. I, mean, I guess I... I want to just proc it, or I just slam this. I just proc it here. This is better to kill. Oh my god, it wasn't that. Okay. Well... Just double do that. Uh, next turn I have eight mana, so we can do this. Hero power, life drinker. I'll gain six, deal him six. Uh, oh, I'm just dead. Never mind. Turn seven. Every fucking game. Highlander Hunter has this on turn seven. I forget. I this meta is still trash, man. You can't play any fun decks. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. Maybe my deck is just shit, but. I feel like I just can't play anything that I actually want to play. Want to climb? So just play Pirate Warrior. <laughs> Whatever. Let's uh, let's just give the next one. I guess this is Odd Warrior or Odd uh, Rogue. You know what I actually have to do? I should just be playing Free Shaman. I think Free Shaman is severely underrated right now, even with the nerfs to Snowfall Guardian. Oh wait, you still just lose the Pirate Warrior. I want to keep both of these because they're so good. The problem is I feel like I lose tempo so early on that I just can't ever come back. That's Shaman's problem is I feel like all of their minions are super fucking tiny. Like, this is a 2-3 three for 3. This is a 1-4 for 2. Right? Where Pirate Warrior is playing like a fucking 3-3 three, three with a better ability for 3. We're paying... 
zero mana two twos and things like that like it's it's so awkward to be fair if it wasn't snipe i was confident i think i could have won that game last game we did have snipe on this and i could have froze both of his guys and then set up a little bit better i think i won but because of how everything went down i don't think it was really feasible to win um sorry with this guy i was about to say uh, i'm an idiot i want to combo these two together but i don't think i can do this hopefully hit healing rain never lucky it was a 50 50 i had to go for it because the upside is so big you hit like one of your two like big combo-ish pieces also what the fuck is this death discovered death row oh this is a uh, owl is my, is my guess um or like a death rattle rogue list that's another super fun deck it's 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 so fucking fun oh my god it's thief rogue okay that's another deck i've been meaning to play is the infinite thief rogue deck that deck is that deck looks like silly silliness incarnated i want to play three things here so this way i can do this freeze draw three odds of that though being super fucking low interesting no minions i assume give me all right i guess i played what is this what's his, what's the name of that card um who's the who's the uh four five oh Bel alec Bellic? I think it's Velik. Fuck. The one you play in Raza Priest. Uh, that orders your deck from highest to lowest. I think it's Velik. I have, I'm gonna have to look that up after this game. That's good. Sexual Cutlass. Not having that is actually really nice for me. I don't have a way to deal with weapons, so I kind of just lose. Um... Ooh, Serenade. Serenade is super big here. Promise he doesn't have, like, minions, so, like, I'm currently just sitting with this in hand, like, okay, eventually. Eventually I'll be able to play this 4 mana draw 3. That's super good for him. Um... That's fine. Alright, that's... Full, almost full combo. That's nice. That's actually very, very nice. He has to play a card from a different class here, which is most likely going to be a minion. Uh, in which case, I can freeze to draw an additional card. I think I played it. I slam. Also, this should not be in the deck if I'm playing quest. I don't want to overwrite quest. Ever. That was not what I wanted to see. Haunt or healing? Haunt, beautiful. Okay, here I'm able to do... There's one that makes all my guys summon 1-1s one when they die, right? Or is it... No, that's in Battlegrounds. Uh, it's heal, that, deal. So I guess it's just a deal. Slam this... I think it's a fireball. So that would put him down to 7. Which means I just need, like, this and this to survive. And he gains four here, so it's a little bit awkward. That's only Merchant. Interesting. <laughs> I don't think he knows how Merchant works, so... I'm just gonna call upon the elements. Uh, let's deal two damage to all enemy minions, and then let's fireball him. But you can't just play him and double fireball someone because that would be fucking hilarious. So yeah, with a decent curve against an opponent who plays nothing, you can win. <laughs> turns out, turns out that's that's pretty strong. Uh, all right. Um, we have another. We have time for one more game, so let's queue it up. I right, guess I'll see y'all there. Okay, so my guess is it's the mirror. Ping. Oh, he's playing free shaman. I'm playing this pile of cards. Uh, okay, so I have Grumble. I have Talon. I just need Tour Guide. 
So basically, right, I need Tour Guide and I need Sarah Knight Chain Gang and I win the game. This is actually a huge draw. That gives me a board wipe when he has a board full of shit, which is very, very nice. Very nah. Um, and also depending when I have to pull it off, I also have Grumble that could combo with it. With the coin, that's even easier, right? That's turn eight. Yeah, I beat that. Thank God. I was about to say, if I draw a Murloc here, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Full on combo in hand. Um, I play this next turn. I ideally hit this. Which would draw me a Snowfall Guardian, which means I just auto win against Tempo decks. That is problematic. I give him so many cards if I. Okay, there's the tour guide. Interesting. I might just have to slam this. Okay, that's huge, actually. Yeah, I might just do this next turn. Especially if he plays another minion here. Like another decent card. I'm just gonna slam this. Wipe. And ideally everything survives and I can coin grumble, get both of those back. And then this dies somehow. So I don't really need another one of this. Especially if he copies it. If he copies it. Okay, yeah, so it's just it's just this. And then hope he doesn't have a way to kill it. Yeah. I'm a secret. Yeah, that's fine. Life drinker, so I have the full combo now. Besides Shudder. That's this. And I'm gonna slam this for for safety. Beautiful. That was actually such a good thing. That was such a good eat. Oh my god. Yeah, next turn I just coin grumble. Unless he wipes my board here, which I doubt. He's not gonna wipe five damage. Yeah. So I can grumble. Um, and then he's probably gonna wipe the grumble is my guess. Six, this makes me up to one card in hand. Or nine cards in hand, sorry. Not one. That's huge. This is actually huge. Um, this can draw. Okay, this this gives me a wind chill. So this is two mana draw card um, from my deck. That's fairly nice. I can just re board wipe, which I think is the play. Punch, board wipe. I can actually just be ah. Yeah, it's just board wipe done. I kind of want to do this. Get this back. It's it's just board wipe. Yeah, this is gonna get eaten by him, but I'm not too worried about that. So I complete quest here. Beautiful. And now I've played. Oh, I haven't played Serenite. Okay, never mind. I'm missing one combo piece, which is Serenite Chain Gang. The Chain Gang low, let it up, let it flow. Uh, I just have lethal. Never mind. Your power Makama is 12 damage to face. Unless this heals him. This is 12 damage to face. Lethal, baby! Please don't heal him now. Beautiful. Kill this. Okay, that's fine. Ah, life drinkers. Oh, I love playing this deck. Although. <laughs> He didn't get to play Shadow Walk once. Still level on this deck. Is that a level up uh, in that quest thingy? Ooh, we completed the mana one though. We're... Yo, I've been staying at rank two one star for the longest fucking time. Okay, no, but we're getting close. We're, we're 110 away from this one, which is almost done. Um, all right. Queue up the next game. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll see y'all there. All right, rogues. They do play pirates. Rogues do play pirates. 
I'll keep this whole hand. Brilliant Macaw is such a powerful card that I think you, I almost think you auto keep Brilliant Macaw. Like this card is so nuts. It has so many like possibilities of being strong. So, yeah, it's insane. When you actually hit with this card, by the way, it's so nuts. It's so nuts when you actually hit. Cause I mean, three mana draw two, almost basically tutor. I mean, fuck, I opted to run these with only two nature spells. Like, I, I opted to fit this and two nature spells in my deck. Just for the sake of, instead of playing uh, Sandbinder. Sandbinder is really good, don't get me wrong, but I'd argue that this is just slightly better. Also, I can't beat this card. Ever. Um, yeah, it's a little bit problematic. I don't run anything that can freeze face. So I just lose eventually to Kingsbane. Um, I can slam this, which does Windchill. Windchill should be able to freeze face. Okay, I can eat that now. I have a target, so I think I eat. I think eating is best play. Beautiful. I can eat the big one. I think it's eat into tour guide. Perfect. Actually, no, it's just eat into hero power. I don't want to play tour guides. I want to play Brilliant Macaw to eat this. I know it sounds weird, but I think it's the best play. I'm expecting a hit here. That I'm expecting him to draw this and then re-slam it. Man, can they also put back Elusia? I, I weirdly had that thought today. Of, I forgot why people stopped playing Elusia. And then it just came to me like, oh yeah, that's true. People stopped playing it because they fucking demolished her. And it pisses me off. Because now there is no counterplay really to this. You have to play a 5 mana shit card in order to beat Kingsbane. Consistently. Versus, why not, why can't I just play this 1-3 that just disrupts combos? Like, in my opinion, that card wasn't broken. I, again, I guess I might be partial because I love playing the card, but... It doesn't seem like a broken card to me. It's good, don't get me wrong, the card is very powerful. Is it broken? Absolutely fucking not. I don't think it's ever been considered broken. This should eat something here, right? That was the worst case scenario. I want to slam this, but there, there's no point here. My play next turn is most likely Snowfall Guardian before I attack. I assume these are, unless both of these straight into the 4-4. In which case, it's going to probably be just a uh, pistol into tour guide. Because I don't have enough mana to hit hero power. Uh, Brucon? Brucon is interesting. But I still would really like to see Serenite Chain Gang and Life Drinker here. Just to have a little bit more tempo. Um, yeah, those two would be really nice. Uh, uh, like, obviously, I just want to hit, like, the four main combo pieces. Like, if I just hit them in a row here, I just win the game, right? If I hit, well, obviously they have to be in order, right? So Life Drinker, Serenite, and Grumble don't have to be in order. That was a disgusting top deck. All right, those three can be in any order, but just Shadow Walk has to be on turn nine, and I just win the game, I think. That they complete, those three complete quests. I can wipe here. I don't think wiping those is what I need to do. Uh... No, this is fine. I'm very happy that my minions have been eating hits from the King's Bane instead of my dome. Because my dome would be in pain. I think next turn I attempt to wipe. Right, so that's two, four, five? So I have two mana left over. I can either hero power or tour guide. Or play something else, I guess. I don't know, maybe I find Snowfall Guardian or Brilliant Macaw and I can just cycle those into each other to freeze his board and start punching him in the dome for a whole bunch. That, I mean, that would be pretty nice. I guess as he found a buff and he's coming at this. I saw him hover over here, which my guess means that he hit this. That's disgusting. Yeah, well, it's, it's a board wipe here for sure. Unless I hit exactly another Snowfall Guardian. So I hit another Snowfall Guardian exactly, it's... It's 
board wipe. I would love. I wish I had enough madness on this. Theronite is huge. I wish I didn't have to play this here. I have to wipe. So this is a 50-50 at. Or sorry, this is not a 50-50. This is 25% chance I hit taunt, which is huge. But I think this is just slightly better here. Next turn I can do this into this. And then I think I win. I think even if I have to, I'll press this with this and I'll have three taunts. It's a little bit harder for him to deal with. But my guess is this has to hit here, right? Because that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. He's at two against a shaman. He should be worried, my guess. And also, I mean, I go up to full health next turn. I can do this, 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 which is really solid. Eight. That's a deck play that's eight. Oh, so he just gave me another board wipe. Okay. Oh, that's a thing. This toxic. No big deal. Hopefully this is not a card that draws Kingsbane. I can deal two to everything and then gain me health. Oh, wait. This. Hero power. This, this, this. That works exactly how I want it to work. Double freeze, which gives plus eight plus eight. I can't do math. Fuck. I thought I had enough mana then to do this and this. That's fine. He top decked another way to draw it. Am I a joke to you, game? I have not seen something this ridiculous in some time. If that's the 2 1 charge, I'm gonna be pissed. Thank God. I haven't played Grumble. Hmm. So this is happening 100% of the time, right? I think this just makes him concede. I feel like double healing rain just makes him concede. I don't think there's any combination of two cards in his deck that beats me there. <laughs> it was a good combination. It was a very good combination of cards. To be fair, I could also be playing Reno. I don't think I've played any duplicates yet this game. Except for the healing rain. Yeah, I haven't played any other duplicates this game. So, I wouldn't even know that I'm playing a combo or i'm playing not reno so it could have also been like a reno or something oh but fuck that was so close actually so close i was one card off combo uh to freeze his board uh yeah anyways though with all that being said i hope y'all enjoyed the video if you guys did don't forget to like subscribe as always follow me on twitch and twitter as always this deck is really fun um i know i know it doesn't have the best track record especially not when i'm playing it but i think it's really fun i thoroughly enjoy playing it and um yeah actually wait before i i was about to end the video but then i remembered i leveled up which means i get a whole bunch of extra gold i'm gonna save some of this gold for tomorrow's video so i'm only gonna open two packs Save one for tomorrow's video, just because I don't have, uh, I just don't have any other quests. So I think, again, I recorded this one right after I recorded the, the yesterday's video. So I'm still sipping on the same, uh, iced cappuccino. Um, so yeah, so I won't have quests, so I'm mostly going to be recording one more today. Just because I'm fairly busy coming up, which is another reason why there is no stream. I'm working on a whole bunch of things for the channel, so look forward to that. 
Epic is dope. I feel like I opened this one was the last epic from the classic set that I've opened. Kind of dope, because I pointed out that I love that card. Um, yeah, anyways, we're getting we're, we're slowly getting back up there. <laughs> we're slowly trying to make our way to 2,000 best. Um, by the way, I'm going to stop opening packs. Um, I also want to get in as many as I can before mini set announce, uh, mini set release, because that's typically when I'll stop opening packs. So, now, with that being said... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> that, was, oh, that was an okay pack at the end. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter, as always. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.